Hello, this is Aaron Wall, and this is a free SEO video on the website health check tool. So uh, on SEO book, I created a new tool. Currently, I'm promoting it right off the top of the tools page. And basically what it does is it looks at the pages you have indexed in Google and sees if you have any canonical URL issues, any uh, CMS-related duplicate content issues, error handling issues, and, and stuff like that. So we'll type in seobook.com. And off the start, everything's checked except for viewing like the raw output and the CSV output. I'll click those now so you see what those look like too. And when you use the tool, it, it looks to tell you if there's any missing tile tags or descriptions, any duplicate ones. Like here, I forgot to change my um, uh, dis meta description on my keywords tool page. So I just used this and I went ahead and changed that and fixed it. Um, it also shows you if you have any indexing issues where you have multiple indexes getting indexed. It checks for error handling issues, like to ensure you're given like a 404. Um, because I just changed servers, I'm accidentally um, still given 301s. I have to sort out that technical issue when I get back from this conference I'm going to. Here's our raw index output part. You really don't have to look at that. And then the, the CSV output, um, if you click on this, you can save it, and then you can upload this to... Um, you can upload it to just about, you know, any sort of file you want. It's an Excel file or just save it as a text file. And you could use this data to manipulate it however you want. And let's say you wanted to search again. Uh, I'll do my mom's blog. And when I do it, um, you see when sh her archive section, it has duplicate uh, title tags. It doesn't show the, the month date in there. Ideally, we'd at least show the month or something in there like that. And then the label tags that Google makes are also have that sort of issue. And then duplicate description issue is, again, because there's no uh, description tags in Blogger. And if possible, if, if we were using a CMS, we'd look to try to s solve some of these things as best we could. And then also we, we check uh, for error handling and all that, and it worked. And um, the nice thing about this is you can check, you know, any site. And let's say you just want to check one part of your site. So maybe you do a subdomain. And then you can check it. And hopefully it'll go pretty soon. A couple seconds. Okay. And these are um, some of the pages that uh, people link to for, uh, for my keyword suggest tool. So maybe I should look to try to get some of those blocked. Um, same problem here. And a lot of these text files don't have page titles and that sort of stuff. So there's lots of issues here with stuff I could probably fix and clean up and try to prevent from getting indexed. Another thing you can look at too is let's say you change to a new content management system or you um, have so much content that you really can't tell that much just by looking at the top 1,000 URLs. Well, you can look at what's been indexed in the last month in Google, or the last week, or the last day. And when you look at this, see some of these um, some of these node pages were creating duplicate content. So we had those uh, URLs redirected. Uh, that was some of the user pages. And the nice thing there is, is no matter how large your site is, if you take a small enough uh, time window snippet of it, you'll be able to see uh, some duplicate content issues if you have, you know, the same page titles um, on, like, printer-friendly versions of a page and, and non-printer-friendly versions of a page. So uh, thank you for watching this. Hope you found it helpful. And I'll make more videos soon. If you have any questions, uh, please um, ask them at seobook.com.